Yo, what's good? Welcome back. Or actually, welcome me back because, um, I just noticed that it's about to be four months since my last upload. Um, <laughs> you stupid. Also, I just realized we just hit 67k subscribers with 30 videos. I appreciate y'all, appreciate the support. I was going through my edits and I stumbled upon this one edit that I made back in 2021. And I used these magazine letter cutouts that looked actually pretty cool. And so I was like, maybe I should do a tutorial now because I've been trying to make a YouTube video, but I just didn't have any ideas for videos. First thing you gotta do is go to Google and type in magazine letter cutouts. Now you're gonna see a bunch of these images and basically just click on one that you like save this cut all the letters that you need now yes that may take some time Bruh. and i'm aware of that that's how i did it the first time if you visit my pay hip store you can actually find the magazine letter cutouts already here it is on sale and basically it has 300 plus png cutouts by me like actually by me i went to the library i got some magazines i started cutting all these letters i masked every single letter and organized it in folders I know it's not free, but your boy gotta make some money. You know what I'm saying? I spent all that time doing that. And right now it's on sale. But if you add it to your cart and you go to checkout, you can actually add a coupon. And if you use from YouTube, you will actually get 30% off on top of that. So it goes from $15 to $6.99. Now, if you purchase my pack, like I said, they are all organized from A to Z. Also got some numbers and symbols. So if you click on A, you will see a bunch of variations of the letter A. Let's say if you click on L, you will see variations of that. But anyways, they're all drag and drop. They literally just gather up your letters and just drop them. I have all my letters right here. And we're just going to scale these down uh, like this. And we're just going to spread them apart and actually um, spell whatever word um, I put. And honestly, that's it. If you're just doing graphic design, you can maybe drop a texture on top or maybe a little bit of glow or stuff like that. But if you're doing it for video and you want the letters to like kind of like jitter in a way, what we can do is let's actually grab this T. We're going to go to effects and presets and type in S underscore shake. We're going to use this to basically make the shake. So if you have it, go ahead and use shake or you can use an expression, but um, I prefer using shake. Now, if we keep it like that, that doesn't look really good. So the settings that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring this down to 0 0.090 frequency of 17. And we're going to go down to tilt shake and also change this to 17. Now, if we play it, you get this little jitter, which could be a little too much. Now, I'm going to show you something else. Copy this jitter. So control C and paste it to all of these basically they're all jittering but they're all jittering at the same time so what i recommend doing is going through each of these and just changing the seed it basically changes the um this not the speed but like i don't know how to explain it it just makes it different so they're not all the same you know and if you play it they all look different now another effect that can give it more depth is actually drop shadow i'm gonna use this drop shadow as uh under perspective so we're going to drop it, the shadow to be a little bit more like this, a little bit softer. And let me drop the opacity to around right here. And I'm going to copy this um, effect, get all of these shift and then click at the top and then command V or I mean control V. And basically it's going to copy it to all of them. You can make the shadow a little bit more harsher if you want, but I'm going to just keep it that way. I'm going to pre-compose all of these letters because there is an effect that I want to add on top. This is an effect called posterize time. I think that's how you said it. I don't know. But basically, if you add this, basically what I'm going to do with this effect is lower the frame rate. Now, if we go to composition, we go to composition settings. I'm using 30 uh, as the frame rate. We're going to drop this to 15. And if we play, as you can see, it looks more, mm, more like retro. Is that the right word? I don't know. But you can drop it even lower, maybe to a 7. And... It looks like this. Actually, this looks good. Like, it looks like really good. Actually, I really like it. 
if you enjoyed these videos and want more videos from me make sure to drop a like and if you're new make sure to subscribe because we're on the road to 100k if you want to see more of me you can consider subscribing to my patreon i do tutorials over there more often than on youtube that's that's probably why i stopped kind of posting on youtube because i've been on patreon if you want to join my patreon link will be in the description you guys have a great day see you guys next time deuces I'm king of the hell, I just be counting my stacks Don't really fuck with you, I come off like Bill Yeah, just like that oh.